Hey guys, it's Dom over at Texas Pride. We're in our film studio and we're here with JD from Big Truck Big RV. He's one of our biggest customers and he's a big time YouTuber. Now, as everybody knows, when JD puts out a video, he never shows himself on camera. That's because he always puts the focus on the product that he's reviewing. That's what he's always done with this Texas Pride trailer that he's got from us. He's always focused on the reviewing, the product itself, what the product can do. And uh, that's how it goes today. Now, about a year ago, he uh, started having a conversation with Texas Pride, actually with our Senior Vice President, Devin Davis, about uh, a concept trailer. You know, coming up with an idea for a dump trailer that can be pulled behind a half-ton truck without any issues. Uh, a lot of times, a lot of our medium dump trailers, especially depending on what you're pulling with them, what you're loading it down with, a lot of times a, a three-quarter ton is required. Well, this trailer is built for a half-ton truck. And it's a concept trailer and he's already seen the trailer. JD's already been in here. He's already shot his video. We did his whole walk around with him. He did all that. He was he already did the ooh, the ahs, loved the trailer. So now we're gonna find out from JD what he thinks about the trailer. So let's check it out. So you already did the walk around of this cool concept trailer. Let's talk about it. Tell me about tell me about your trailer that, that we built as a concept trailer. Yeah, so first of all, blows me away. It absolutely does. Uh, every time I, I work with you guys, you blow me away. You do something special, which I really appreciate. And then it turns into a thing that, that people can order. So I know there's a concept trailer, but my gut tells me you're going to have people wanting to order this trailer. That's that said, that said, this is absolutely a remarkable looking trailer. You guys did so many things right. The challenges that I talked to Devin about a year ago that I didn't even think I'd ever hear anything back on because this wasn't the point of building a trailer. It was just to talk about what I thought the ideal compact dump trailer would be is the fact that it's got like a 36 inch height to the rail. Why is that important? Because you can literally reach over the side of this trailer to the center of it without having to climb on board. That to me is absolutely amazing. I love the fact that you put the telescoping cylinder up front. That end dump cylinder, you know, from a physics perspective, from an energy perspective, it's just absolutely awesome. The magic sauce here for me is how low it sits. The fact that this trailer has such great capability to be able to get equipment on the back of without having to climb into the trailer or climb up and over the trailer for that to happen. So on your actual overall height, you wanted to keep it under 37 inches. We have it at 36 and a half inches overall yeah. height. And this is great because like I said, you can reach completely in to the center of this trailer without having to climb on board but you still included corner steps, which I think make a lot of sense. You can step up here directly in, or you can step on the fender, or shoot, you can even step on the toolbox if you want. Mm -hmm. So this entire trailer is just set up in a way that is very, very practical for folks who don't traditionally have a need for a tall side wheel yeah. trailer, right? If you're moving rock and material, landscapers, this is like a landscaper's dream trailer because you can carry your material right here, you can carry your sod right here, your fertilizer right here, and probably a couple pieces of equipment in here as well. Of course, when you're stepping inside, you saw that we also we also went with 50% flooring upgrade on this 316 and your D-rings, another, again, part of the concept, our D-rings on our medium dump trailers are always gonna sit on the mm -hmm. bed of the trailer. We usually don't put D-rings on our 10-foot trailers. You can get them, you can, request them and have them put on, but on this particular trailer, we actually put them on the sidewalls. No, it looks really nice. I love the fact that you still have the tarping system. Mm -hmm. This is critical, especially if you're a homeowner buying this trailer or you own a small piece of land or property that you're gonna be using this on. If you take anything out off your property, you need to have it tarped. It needs to be covered so it's not blowing all over the especially highway. Especially when it's as low as this trailer is. Yeah, let's talk about the suspension on here. So I believe, and I may not be 100% correct, but I believe that typically the largest axles you can get on their small dump trailers are like 3,500 pound axles. They equipped this trailer with 5,200 pound axles. Now, why is that significant? Because typically like 7,000 pounds is about the maximum GVWR that you can get these tiny dump trailers for. And the reason for that is they're relatively small. Now, this specific trailer has a 10K GVWR, so 3,000 pounds higher. Secondly, the trailer itself, right now in this configuration, weighs 3,000 pounds, which gives us 7,000 pounds of cargo capacity in the back. That's amazing for a trailer this size. But they also wanted to make sure that the axles met that rating as well. So they put 5,200 pound axles on here. We got 10,400 pounds worth of axle capacity on a trailer, which is entire weight should never exceed 10,000 pounds, which means the axles can carry the entire loaded weight of the trailer plus 400 pounds. Why is that significant? Because on most trailers, you're gonna have 10 to 15% of that weight transferring to the back of your truck. So the axles don't even really need to be, they could be 4,000 pound axles. 
but they stepped it up and they threw 5,200 pound axles on here with what, 10 ply tires, 10 right? 10 ply tires. 10 ply tires. It's a leaf sprung suspension, so there may even be some options there to do some crazy upgrades later, but this is absolutely amazing. I love the LED lighting. Some companies are still putting incandescent lighting on the back of their trailers. Yeah, it makes all no of ours is recessed, lifetime LED lighting on them. Yep, all LED. I love this look right here too, especially where you're going to drop the license mm -hmm. plate connection right there. It's perfectly designed for that. And this back gate is awesome. So this is not only a traditional you know, swing open gate, which we'll show you in a second, it's also a spreader gate. So we can set our chain length right here. We can pop this open and this gate will actually just, you know, swing out like this. So as you lift it up, if you're gonna be laying down like um, gravel. reclaim, gravel, caliche along a path, you set the distance that the gate swings back and you basically let it pour out as you drive forward. With the wireless remote that he has in his pocket, the ability for you to adjust the height, or while sorry, adjust the, the angle. While you're in the cab yep, of your truck. While you're in the cab is awesome. Now, if you've seen my dump trailer that I currently have, it's got these metal T-bars on it. And whenever you open up the gate, you go around to the side, you hook the T-bar, which is a very common way a lot of companies. They either use T-bars or they use chains. But you guys did something absolutely remarkable that I love, and I'm gonna show you what's going on here. So we're gonna take the clamp off, open it up, and open it all the way. And swing it around. Swing it around, and listen what happens when we push it. They self-lock into place. There's a spring-loaded latch right here down in the bottom, and that spring-loaded latch enables it to essentially lock into place. That is huge because typically whenever I'm unloading, I might have somebody with me and I'm like, can you go around to that other side, lock my T-bar for me and I'll do it on this side. And sometimes it's just kind of a pain. But for me to be able to walk up to the trailer and just swing the gate around like this, know that that side's gonna latch just by opening it all the way and then do this side at the same time, that's, that's magical, that is awesome. But this is what it looks like in an open configuration. Again, this is a multi-purpose kind of tailgate setup we have going here. Yeah. This is kind of like your version of the GM multi-flex tailgate or the, <laughs> where you can do other things with it, right? It's an open gate like this. We have the ability, even if we wanted to, we have the ability to open up one side if we want, which is kind of cool as well. But that is really, really nice frame up front. It gives you a lot of capability to really get sideways and get in different types of angles because it's gonna articulate well with the vehicle. And again, the whole goal here was that we could set this up in a way that your typical half ton truck could pull it without any problem at all. You still gotta be careful with how much you load in the back because even though it weighs 3,000 pounds as it sits now, if you load this thing up with 7,000 pounds worth of material, it's gonna be a big difference between what a half ton can tow and how it's gonna tow something that heavy. But you do have a lot of capability here and I love it. I love the fact that you guys put the, the round tube here. Mm -hmm. This is a really, really, really great solution in case I ever wanna swap this jack leg out, I can put whatever one I want in here, which I really like. I love the solar panel on top, and I love this huge toolbox. I mean, this is a massive toolbox that you've integrated in so well into the front A-frame. Looks really nice. You got your power supply in here as well, which you can use. Again, this is typically what our customers, this is what our customers are always going to get with their medium dump trailers if they don't go with the wireless. Mm -hmm. And then got a pintle ring. Got a pintle ring in there. Yeah, that is absolutely awesome. Plus, you have your charger over here, which is really nice. You have your deep cycle. 12-volt uh, battery in here as well. Nice hydraulic support up here, and this is a lockable front toolbox. Yep. I love it. I do. This is absolutely awesome. And uh, now I appreciate that you guys took a concept idea that you know Devin and I had while we were just you know shooting the bull, and you turned it into something that's physically sitting in front of me that meets all of the specification requirements. I told him it had to weigh 3,000 pounds or less dry. It weighs 3,000 pounds or less dry. I told him it cannot exceed 37 inches on the side, 36 and a half inches. I wanted it beefed up, five inch frame, three by or two inch by three inch channel going all the way around. Plus the center, the center lift right here or the front lift to be able to lift it up. That was a big one for me. And when you get this, this adds weight and bulk, of course, but it's the one that I was hoping that you guys would be able to do if you decided to make something like this and you guys did it. So there are a lot of upgrades on this one I know over your traditional six by 10 foot or five by 10 foot dump trailer, but even those trailers offer a lot of the same yeah, benefits that do. this one has. This one just has some key tweaks, some key differentiations that I preferred 
But here's the deal. You guys sell those other trailers all day long yeah, at a remarkable long. price. I love yeah. it, man. Absolutely love it. You guys have, have knocked it out of the ballpark. We're glad you like it, and we look forward to uh, the next conversation that you have with Devin so that uh, our production can see what they do. i got to be careful, man. I'm going <laughs> to have way too many trailers. I kind of do already, but... <laughs> But boy, we'll, we'll we'll figure out what we do with trailers that we don't use. But we'll, we uh, we promise they'll be uh, they'll be put to good use, and they will be possibly going to great organizations.